All right, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit about these guys, the cabbage looper. Now, as you can see, they pretty much almost just about, I haven't been out here in a couple days to look at it, and I just came out today to look, and my entire brassica crop is almost devastated due to these little cabbage loopers. They're pretty much everywhere. So this is just one picking of what I picked off of these things. And if you see these things, you have to really look good on your brassica plants, your broccolis, cabbages, kales. You really got to look good because they're very hard to notice. But if you see them, you're going to want to take them off your plant very quickly because they will literally chew your... Some of these plants have been chewed literally down to the ground. Let me see if I can find one down there. It's, it's so chewed so bad that you can't even see it. Where is it? Anyway, they're crawling off my hand. So... What I do is I pick them off by hand. This is one of the best ways to deal with it. The second, believe it or not, best way to deal with it is neem oil because they really don't like to taste the neem oil. So that's probably the second best way to do it. But if you see those little white butterflies, they're really kind of small. They're kind of white butterflies. You see them swimming around. If you see those things, you want to catch them and kill them or you want to you know, keep them away from your, your vegetables because that is what these come from. They come from that little white butterfly that you see flying around. <clears throat> so one, one butterfly can lay thousands of eggs. So as you can see here, I have enough here to feed my fish for a long time. And that's the next thing I wanted to mention is that I am going to feed my fish with these. Now, I was growing some sacrificial uh, brassicas on the side just so I can collect the larvae like this and feed my fish with them but I haven't been doing that lately and so now they're coming to my main crop and you don't want to do that so that's another option you have is you can grow like a couple extra brassica plants somewhere else in the yard and you know let them get let the plants get really big and then let the white butterfly or the cabbage looper moth uh, land on it and pretty much uh, lay all the eggs they want to make it like a um, you know a sacrificial plant and if you have goldfish or you have something they love the goldfish love these things they taste just like cabbage to them so basically what we're going to do here is we are just going to do that and they're all gone they're all in the water waiting for my fish now are my fish going to come up and eat them right now I don't know I got to clean out the pond though because the water is starting to get stale and brown and the leaves are falling in it so i'm going to end up having to clean it but they will still come to the surface and eat it at some point maybe the frogs in the area i don't see any of the frogs i think the frogs are getting ready for uh winter so you don't see any frogs really that much anymore but the fish will come up and eat them that's for that's for dang sure but yeah, if you see these cabbage loopers on your plants, remove them. Don't, you got to look for them. You, they, they look exactly the same color as the leaf. And if you're not looking for them, then they'll just keep chewing your plants to infinity. So that's it. I just wanted to show you what the cabbage looper looks like. And generally, they only eat just any of the brassicas. They don't bother anything else, just brassica plants. As far as I know, you might see them on other plants, but they're not going to bother tomatoes or peppers or anything like that. Just the brassicas. So, if you see them, remove them. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.